I've had a few people who have messaged me asking about this scripture in 1 Timothy chapter 2, 11 through 15. And I want to address this because many people have been deceived by Satan to suppress the voice of women so that they will not share their testimony. Many women have truly believed in Jesus and they have a testimony to speak to the world that maybe others would truly repent. But women have been taught by people who do not believe in Jesus that they should not share their testimony. And they've used the Bible to manipulate these women. One verse is this verse in 1 Timothy chapter 2, and these are the words of Paul. He says, Let a woman learn in silence with all submission. And I do not permit a woman to teach or have authority over a man, but to be in silence. For Adam was formed first and then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived fell into transgression. Nevertheless, she will be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith, love, and holiness with self-control. Paul had to address this because women were not being led by the Holy Spirit, but they were busybodies in gossips. If a woman is a busybody or gossip, she should keep quiet and she should learn from her husband if her husband is being led by the Holy Spirit. But if a woman truly has a testimony for Jesus, then she should absolutely share it anytime, any place. I want to share with you what happened when Jesus resurrected from the dead. This is Matthew chapter 28, if you want to take a look at this. It says, Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. And he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, and ran to bring his disciples the word. Now if it were really true that Mary Magdalene and the other Mary should have kept quiet, then this angel would have commanded them to keep quiet and to not share their testimony. But they were told to do the exact opposite. They had a testimony that Jesus was alive, that he had risen from the dead, and they were commanded by this angel to spread the truth. If you are a woman today and you have a testimony for Jesus, then do not let the devil ever tell you to keep quiet, but open your mouth and proclaim the truth of Jesus. May the grace of Jesus be with you.